Hi, I was actually reading uh, Josh Brown's uh, research for the first project, and he mentioned uh, the O.J. Simpson covers uh, during his trial for murder uh, in 1994. And uh, it, I immediately made this connection, uh, a lot of connections, between our second project, where I'm asking you to make a poster, and then make a second poster and manipulating uh, the visuals subtly uh, in some way, shape, or form. It could be the text, or um, uh, you, I said you could even change, like, you know, not the composition, but change, like, swap out a visual element. But looking at this, you know, I was like, you know, I had to go look at these um, things and then look at these covers and uh you know just the if we look at the visuals of these two you know this was a big thing back in the 90s uh when it came out how they were altered and photoshopped and how the time one made uh oj look much more menacing because it was darker and contrasting his skin tone got even darker and uh you know he looked more guilty in in that um image and then I started thinking about our readings and the, the Congo and Africa and Africa is the dark continent and, you know, that, how that, how the darker skin tone, um, plays in our, um, you know, um, imagination because of this, uh, visual construct, um, of our visual culture, you know, it becomes very complex, uh, in this analysis when we look at the, at these things, um, the other thing that I, you know, didn't think much about, but then I, I when I brought these up, I started reading the, the text. And if I look at Newsweek's text, you know, trail of blood, just think of the imagery that, that those words bring up. And then if I go to time, though, it just says an American tragedy. And it seems like the Newsweek, like the text is much more overtly giving a sense of guilt to O.J., but time uses the, the photograph to communicate this element of guilt. And I don't often have run, I've not, I can't think of a time where I've run in people analyzing the text of these two things. And maybe it's just because I'm an artist, a visual artist, and that's the world that I live in. Um, that'd be an interesting thing to research, but the, the visuals is what I most often hear about these two covers. So, anyways, there, I just thought that was an interesting quick point. Um, you know, you look at that, analyze that, think about in the terms, you know, how the visuals are used different. I mean, it, it, you can change the text, as we have different text on the same photograph, but we also have the photograph adjustment. You know, it's just, I think, a good example of how uh, we can tape, take a sing singular image and really manipulate it, alter it, and... Uh, in a sense, these two things are saying the different things, but they're using very different tools to say them. So, all right, yeah, quick thought.